All right, can everybody see okay? I'm having trouble getting the, getting it to capture right. Hopefully this works. Trust 
software for anything related to message screening function. Only del receives emails from you. Details. This is the latest version of self Twitter mail. There are no plans for a version update. There is no help page. Help and troubleshooting requests will not be supported. Thank you for using self Twitter mail. self -Twit.
little quiet. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. Is that better? Or is that too loud? finish lane. Is that any better? Strong flow. They get carried off the bottom of the waterfall, you ain't coming back! Rapid water beyond this point. Weaklings should turn back here. They aren't kidding. Oh, shoot! Okay, well, I just lost that money. Okay. Yeah, in this version of the game, um, money doesn't uh, regenerate like it does in the original, so you can't just turn off the game, restart it to get the money. The only way to get these uh, specific drops is you, you can only get them one time. That said, enemies are a little more friendly with the with the uh, the drops. There we go. There's a shortcut back to the village. Archaeology dictionary. Split gate, similar to the Candy Bentar of Bali Island, but decorated differently. You'll notice now if I fall too far, it actually stuns me. So I can't just fall any distance like in the original version. I do get back up and it doesn't do damage, but it just it gets a stun. La Mulana Ruins Dictionary. The Mural of Departure. A relatively new mural in the ruins. It looks like the history of La Mulana Ruins is, is detailed here. What's up? It's me. You see that square box looking thing by the entrance of the ruins? Try pushing it. There's something similar inside the ruins that you can push as well. If something looks suspicious, don't just hit it with your weapon. Try pushing it. Later. Those entering the ruins, beware. They lurk within the land of ordeals. Death awaits the powerless. They will speak only to those who have learned the seven histories and overcome the challenges herein. Traps. I lack the energy to escape. You got the return of skeleton graffiti there. Okay, we don't have the glyph reader, so I can't read the Lamulamis.
Don't you feel stronger holding that work? Hey there, it's me. I thought you might have opened the treasure chest at the Gate of Guidance by now and decided to email you. The item inside that treasure chest is called the Sacred Ore. It's a secret treasure that gives you strength. Your strength decreases just by having it. Don't eat it, though. Apparently this is the Pillar's Gate, a room within the Gate of Guidance, so there's a name for each room, huh? Hmm, I've learned something interesting, but I'm likely going to die soon. These words, they're Greek to me. I should have brought that cliff reader. We can now actually save directly at the Grail tablets. Um, so that makes it so I don't have to leave the ruins every time if I want to save the game. It also does a, a quick save, so that if you die, you immediately start uh, right at the last Grail tablet you touched. I like them both for different reasons, Adam. I think um, the original, I mean, the ROM collecting is one of my favorite things, and obviously that's missing from this game. Um, a lot of the Easter eggs are now gone, um, you know, just because uh, obviously they couldn't market and sell a game that had all that reference, references to copyrighted uh, uh, Konami properties. But uh, and obviously this looks gorgeous, it sounds gorgeous, uh, they up the difficulty. Um, changed so much. Um, it really gave everything an overhaul. Um, made the controls more responsive. I think there's there's advantages and disadvantages to both. I love the the, the feel of the original, the the eight bit look, you know. But this makes me nostalgic for. I mean, this is. Clearly, sort of a, a 32-bit era graphic style. It's a little above like a 16, what a 16-bit era console could do. This is still a trap. Love that. <laughs> the jaw falling off. The path of gazing faces lies within the heavenly corridor, the floor, hidden floor. I found it, but I got really excited and fell. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. A mural depicting a face. This is similar to the colossal Olmec head found at the Laventa, Ru Laventa Ruins in Mexico. I like the, the fact that they added all these touches to the background, too. New, um, you know, they clearly went around and did research on, on these ruins and found ways to add art assets to the game that very closely resemble the actual, um, the actual ruins. Let's see here. I want to go down this way first. The orb you have to whip here is replaced with this block, but it does the same thing.
So in a lot of cases, uh, locations that used to have uh, ROMs in them, it's been replaced now with chests that are guaranteed uh, money. Which is kind of nice. I'm gonna take a leap down here. That, of course, is fake spikes, so we get the uh, shirt. So that puzzle stayed the same from the original. I guess uh, that those who have courage can obtain weapons, but if I jump into those spikes, I'll die! The weapons inside the ruins. It's me! Sometimes there are weapons hidden inside the ruins! They look normal, but being weapons in the ruins, they're a bit funny. And you can't use the weapons without ammo. Collect the ammo that matches the shape of each weapon. Once you do that, you'll be able to use your weapons. I think in some cases I do prefer the old music, but uh, this is, I mean... You gotta love having those extra sound channels, the kind of stuff they can pull off here. I think I love the samples of the original. The this soundtrack is pretty great. The um, Actually, I found out recently that they actually they made a uh, a Roland MIDI version of the original soundtrack that you could play with the uh, in place of the uh, chip tune version. Kind of neat. I'm out of weights. Eight spirits dwell within this land. The spirits are guardians, protectors of these grounds. The spirits that slumber within the ox that will shatter the bright red light. The spirits will awaken at that time. The ark of these lands lies beyond the path of the gazing faces, and the jewel is at the cut of the cliff of radiance. I think, you know, once we finish this, I'll get to sh might at some point show off uh, La Milana 2. They really outdid themselves with that one. Good old exploding rats. I figured out where the Cliff of Radiance is, but there's some sort of door here blocking my way. Pulling doesn't open it. Actually, there isn't even a doorknob to pull. What if I was supposed to push it? Well, I guess I'll never know. So, Edom, are you excited for the return of Skeleton Graffiti? The first age of the sun was destroyed by Flood. The second age of the sun was destroyed by the God of Wind. The third age of the sun was destroyed by the God of Fire. The fourth age of the sun was destroyed by blood and fire falling from the sky. The same thing was written in Mayan prophecy. Could there be a connection? So they changed this puzzle from sword, shield, um, armor, um, and bow to... Uh, we want to do flood, wind, fire, and blood. Destroy Flood first, then Wind, then Fire, then Blood. Alright, I don't have any weights for that right now, but it's nice to have that unlocked. See a Mayan calendar in the background there. It's me, 
How are you? Inside the ruins, there's a door, but it's a little different from modern doors. Push it all straight and it'll open. If it does not open, then you need to push it to the other side. The doors in the ruins only open in one direction. This mini boss is brand new. Archaeology Dictionary Ancient Mayan Airship resembles the ruins of the Olmec civilization in Mexico. A decorated flute also looks like a man ride, riding an airship. So killing the two red skeletons drops that now. The Mechanical God resembles the mural discovered in the Leventa ruins of the Olmec civilization in Mexico. Looks sort of like a human riding a dragon-shaped machine. an escape route. These ruins seem to be connected in a very mysterious fashion. Shaped differently from the others? If you read from these tablets, your memory is the location you're in for the Holy Grail. From there, you can use the Holy Grail to travel to any of the recorded locations. What do they call it these days? Warping? They do indeed. So let's warp to the surface and buy some things. They actually sell the gun from the very beginning, but you have to have enough for it. Quite expensive. But yeah, you don't you don't find it in the ruins in this game. You can get it right away. Come on, guys, give me some give me some weights here. Yeah, that was that was real nice. Drop it in the pit. Okay. You got 
guys are jerks. There's one. Try to get to about five, I think. Such jerks, I tell you. All I want is for them to give me their cylindrical objects. I think one more should do it. Hope oh, no one's getting too bored watching me farm weights. All right, there we go. All right, let's turn on the glyph reader the, uh, and the map function. This is where the mother lays to rest. In this path of trials, only heroes who do not fear death are permitted to proceed. Hold the gate of guidance. Death awaits those who would destroy this land. Offer three lights to the heavens. Courageous one, embrace the power. If thou seeketh power, prove thine courage. If thou traipses on holy ground, take care not to cause any needless damage. Those who do not heed this warning will be dealt punishment from the heavens. Those who challenge the Guardian know thy strength. Death awaits the powerless. The future awaits those who train themselves and take on the challenge.
There are eight Ankhs. Eight Ankhs to protect the Great Spirits. Seek the Red Light, the Ankh Jewel. The Guardians that slumber within the Ankh will test thine strength. Here, now we need the Ankh Jewel. It shall connect once held in the mouth. When one swallows, the other spits out. Translation, attack this block here and the elevator appears. Gotta do this just right. Ah, screw it up. That's all right. All right, we gotta be careful not to whip, whip that central column. Not until I solve the puzzle. The watchtower soars above the Temple of the Sun. Traps to capture thieves have been newly set. In a newly constructed wall, too, the key has been hidden. That'll open the path to the option. Uh, I still need to get the off jewel though. Alright, let me try this again. There we go. That opens up a shop, so I don't want to do that one yet. I think I've only got two weights remaining. The sad tale of the giants. The tragic history of the giants is written here. Alright, I'm going to drop a weight there. Let's leave that one alone for now. I don't have enough weights. Of those cross like thingies called ox, located here and there in the ruins, you can break the ox. Breaking them will make something bad happen, so maybe think about going back to the village to save first. Why there? Why not come chat with me? I see you got a hand scanner. Good thing. Since you need to inspect skeletons. Stone tablets. You can also expect big old murals and statues. Let's see here. Uh, what I really want is weights. Let's, let's 
that's, uh... Yeah, the buckler is useless, it breaks. I don't want to waste too much money. I want to have enough left over to get the heat proof shield. And I want to have at least 10 weights. When I go into the uh, giant's mausoleum. Time to fight Snick. Slightly different now. Still not that difficult, just big snack. And there's the first guardian down. Congratulations, you have obliterated Amphis Mena, but the adventure continues. Come back as ASAP! It's me! Come back to my tent now! Something bad has happened! You made it! Actually, I called you back for no good reason. I'm just bored. Sorry. Ha 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 ha! Don't get all mad rush off. Please, take a seat and eat some of my homemade bat curry. Anyway, being an archaeologist sir, seems dangerous. Even after I warned you about the monsters and traps, you still went in them ruins. If you can solve all the puzzles without dying, you might actually meet the legendary four philosophers. If they actually exist. Hmm, this curry is spicy. Do I hear that again? No, thanks. Okay then. Sorry, it's me. Sorry about lying about the emergency in the last email, but it'd be nice if you come up to the surface to talk with me now and then, Professor.
I don't know why I did that. I don't really need to go shopping there yet. Alright, we're in the mausoleum of the giants. Unable to fulfill the great mother's wishes. No, I too, the last remaining of us, and you for a long slumber. Abu. The mother was great. She made even the giants look tiny. The giants were great. Thou art tiny, like a little dog. Hint, hint. A Nebra sky disk lies beneath this land. Leap upon what floats there from high above, and the heavens shall then move at your command. No touchy that uh, tablet in the upper right hand corner, otherwise it activates hard mode. The sun shone brightly the day Leto fell in battle. A gaping hole in her chest, she entered her eternal slumber. Translation error there, the Lido's supposed to be female. Alright. Hit that switch. Now we can get to that. I am still not sure what these worms are. This is where the Ghost Lord lives. Come one, come all. The Ghost Lord will appear before your eyes. Gather round, gather round, sit tight until he is full grown. So they swapped out one of the puzzles from the first game where you had to avoid killing the ghosts. And now we're going to kill all the ghosts until a giant ghost appears. For the tower to fly, much water was needed. Nigella created a lake to this land, then drew his last breath. Alright, time to slaughter some ghosts. Ghosts are frightening! Here comes the giant ghost. We actually want to wait for him to sweep by and hit him from behind. If he touches me, he does a ton of damage.
Alright, we got the rolling shuriken, which replaced the kunai from the very original. Archaeology Dictionary, Kronlek, resembles the uh, Oyu Kanjo, Kronlek, located in the Akita Prefecture of Japan. Concerned for his brothers, Ribu dug a hole to send the lake's water to the tower. His strength exhausted, he then laid down to rest. Shield guards are in the front now, but uh, because they can only block a certain number of whip attacks before they lose their guard. I actually want to break that open so I can go through there later to get on the scale. Abuto G, Ribu, and Saki all hoped there would come a day when the mother would live in this land. Secret of the Mausoleum of the Giants. It's me! In the Mausoleum of the Giants, there's this stone tablet that talks about the history of the Giants. Be sure to read it, because there's no other way to learn the names of their leaders and their history. It was a moonlight night that G started praying to the land. Behold the mausoleum of the giants. The sad memories of the giants are contained within. Blanket of countless stars spread over Bado, falling into a deep slumber. They can't rest in peace if you don't buy something. All right, we do want the Hermes boots. Yeah, the Hermes boots are found here now instead of uh, in the Temple of the Sun. Zebu would not budge, for he was the one who sustained the land, but the rest of them split into the two sides and continued the battle. I like the giants in the background there. Twas who plundered the Red Lich shall never escape. So, you remember from the, from the original, this is where we place the weight, and that gets us the sacred orb for this area. Hey Marcus, it's Stan from Video Game Valley. Oh, hey Mexitron Streams. Oh, you're you're Stanley from the Video Game Valley. Okay, I know who you are. Yeah. Good to see you. Welcome. We're we're playing La Mulana Remake. Zebu, the firstborn, was holding up the land and thus unable to move. Strength lies at the foot of Puto. Which one is Puto? So yeah, as I explain when we played the original version, there's Lido right there. Uh, Fudo, you have to figure out which one Fudo is by process of elimination. Once you've got the names for all the other giants, you know that this one is Fudo, so you put a weight on his feet, and that unlocks the, uh, uh, 
unlocks the sacred orb. Lots of switches! It's me! You need to come by more often! Now then, there are switches in these ruins that will activate puzzles when stepped on. If you see a section of the floor that's kinda raised up, it's a switch! Sometimes just standing on them won't do nothing, meaning you need more weight! In those cases, try laying on them somewhere high up, or jump and stop! In order to return the Mother to the Heavens, Bado, Miguela, Ledo, and Futo built a flying tower. We'll be going there later. Where's my elevator? Elevator, there's the elevator. The first child had the body of a snake. The second child, a large body. The third child soared through the sky. The fourth child had the body of a fish. The fifth child had wisdom. The sixth child was born of the earth. The seventh child cast the mother away. The eighth child did not know the mother. Let us place the spirit of the ninth child into the body of the zero child. Alright. So that is our mission here, is to wake up the mother, kill her, so she doesn't destroy all humanity. Seems like this contraption you need to land on the floating platform with a lot of power. It won't budge if you don't jump high enough. Proof? I jumped about as high as a, good as a stone, and so when I hopped on the platform, I slipped and fell to my death. How's that for proof? Alright, there's the Nebra Sky Desk. The celestial bodies lie within. You should control the celestial bodies, and even time may be shifted. Alright, we jumped from high enough here. Alright. We want to get it to stars. They made this puzzle considerably easier. Now all we have to do is step on it to rotate it. The Nebra Sky Disc. A mural with carvings of the month, moon, sun, and stars. Looks like it was built to spin. Alright, reset this to the stars. Alright, there's a new trap here I have to be aware of. When you set it to stars... Um... As we know, G falls down here, right? But in the original, it just immediately put him in a prone position. Now, he actually full-scale collapses on you, and if you're standing beneath him there, it kills you instantly. Miguel is left-handed, so that helps eliminate, uh, got, you know Miguel and Pluto are facing each other, so Miguel is the left-handed one. We want to use the uh, rolling shuriken to disable this trap. There we go. Nazca Lines, a series of ancient geographs located in the Nazca Desert of Peru. This mural represents one of the geoglyphs, said to be of a dolphin. place to wait here to open that chest, and then go back around. Alright, now we can go up here. The chest is unlocked, and we've disabled the trap pins us here for collecting the Omnitrol. Uh oh. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, next step for completing this area is we want to go back to the sky disk and set it to sunlight. And that'll create a, uh, a pedestal in Leto's chest. no longer collapses on us since we moved from the sky disk. this to Moonlight. The other guy starts praying now. The youngest, Socket, tread his own path. He put a key on Leto's body, falling into slumber with his powers and So there's our second Guardian fight, but I don't want to start that quite yet, because it's a little on the difficult side. I want to have more health, more max health before we try it. There's a Budo. We are the second race, born of the Great Mother. We created order in order to return the Mother to the heavens. Let me tell you the sad tale of our race. The race began with nine brothers. Zebu, Bado, Miguela, Lido, Futo, Abuto, G, Ribu, and Saki. Alright, here we are in the endless corridor. This works... This floor works pretty much identically to how it did before. Call forth the dragon that sleeps in this land and then follow the true flow, and the answer shall be entrusted to the dragon. So we need the key of eternity. Won't be able to do that until we get to the gate of confusion. No matter how far I go, that's what they mean by the quarter being endless. Yep. Nexatron, did you catch any of the Lama Lana Classic stream that I did where I played the original version? Stanley, I, I guess I know you as Stanley as well. Are you familiar with La Mulana at all? Hold the endless court, a long endless path. Alright, we're gonna see if we get here. Talk to the fairy queen. Oh my, you're a human. I am the queen of fairies that live in these ruins. The four philosophers instructed us to help the humans who visit us here, and thus we have been waiting. My fellow fairies will help you, but first you must prove that you're worthy of our powers. 
Find Isis's pendant, which lies somewhere in the ruins. Bring the pendant to me. Only then shall we be able to help you. Alright, so now instead of the Diviner Sensation ROM, I have to find that, uh, that pendant. Fairies, yo! What's up? It's me! Apparently there's a race called fairies living in the ruins, yo! That will only help the one who holds the trite treasure! That's right! So maybe you should search for the treasure first, you know what I'm saying? Look at the map, and if there are rooms with suspicious names, just check it out, yo! I have defeated you. Behold the Temple of the Sun, a shrine devoted to courageous men. Jump into the sun. Alright, we got the boots so we can run up here. Get the knife. All right, gonna go down here to get the knife. The trick of the tail of the sun. It's me. I believe there's a trolley hanging at the top of the circle of the sun. I think you gotta cut it down, but I don't know any of the details. Aim and shoot. There's the knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Alright, gotta get the text. 
contracts, that'll let us save messages that are important, so we can refer to them later. It's Sucknard! Don't go on the exploration! It's me! In the ruins, there are some areas or rooms you can't get into. Brute force ain't the way to get into those places. If you keep on collecting treasure and solving puzzles, eventually you will make it there. Alright. Here's the new character. My name is Bulbrook. By order of the four philosophers, I, Bulbrook, await the strong one. Under the divine protection of Isis, my life is preserved in an eternal slumber. In accordance with the ancient contract, I shall lend my powers to the one who awakens me. Alright, so I need to go to... I need to get the uh, sigil of uh, conception in order to open this. But once you do, uh, Mulbrook wakes up and she is hilarious. Oops, did not mean to do that. That's okay. What do you mean, Slick and Shiny? It's me, Slick and Shiny and Bald. I've got a little hair left, you know? Anyway, there are some slippery parts of this ruin. Once you start slipping, ain't no way you're gonna climb up the top. But someone with quick feet would be able to make it. Statue of Shu, a statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Shu, god of air, has connections to the world's creation. Meditate under the eye of Wedget. Do nothing more than pray. Statue of Tefnut, a statue resembling the ancient Egyptian deity Tefnut, goddess of moisture, known as wife of Shu. It's been 5,000 years since the last customer. Alright, got the heat proof case. The one who solved all the puzzles makes thy descent now. Well, we haven't solved all the puzzles, so we're not gonna make a descent yet. But that is a trap down there, as you can tell from all the dead bodies. The holy fish dwells on this rock. It shall be transformed into a scale sphere when polished by a maiden of purity. It shall protect you from the impure water. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Call forth the power of the twins. The twins are two and one, and identical to each other. That has to do with the labyrinth of the twins. We'll be there later. Alright, so we do not want to place a weight here. That's a trap. Like this, the tablet said, you just want to stand underneath the eye. That opens the treasure chest. And we got the op tool for this area. Statue of Horus, a statue resembling the ancient Egyptian deity Horus. God of the universe and the heavens. Alright, I'm going to take a quick trip this direction. Oh no, Catball knocked me off. Alright. That's alright. I can still go this way. Uh, 
A statue of the giant waits in the land of Inferno. The words of the spirit are hidden within, but one must wait for them to present themselves. That'll be important much, 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 much later in the game. Alright, this unlocks the map. Kick it out, what's the catch? Alright, so this, uh, traps you here. I need to flip that switch first. Okay. Well, let's get the map. There we go. Cast the light and the truth shall be revealed. Now we can do this. Lights are on! Yay! man and therefore there is a woman. A weapon shall not be used within the woman. Alright, we knew that. Alright, I don't want to go that way yet. Statue of Anubis. Statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Anubis. God of the underworld. Statue of Osiris, a statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Osiris, a god who judges the dead. Alright, hop on board here. Statue of Bastet, a statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Bastet, goddess of love and fertility. Those that fly shall be cast down. Mini kill the bats. Gotta wait for them to come over here. Come on, don't be jerks. Oh, bats are jerks. Come on. Over here. Over here, buddy. Over here. There we go. The woman shall be with child when within the man. That'll make sense later. Path that connects the two pyramids. All right. Well, would you look at that? All right. Now we can unlock this. Got to be very careful because this thing falls on us now. Whoa! All right. All 
Alright, we don't have any reason to go into the Temple of the Moon right now, but that does connect us to the Temple of the Moon. Alright, I'm gonna hop on back here to the Mausoleum of the Giants. Let's see, I have enough money for the helmet. Uh, they did a speedrun of La Mulana Remake at SGDQ, that is correct. Um,. They exploited uh, something in one of the earlier releases of the game, so you can only do what they did on a, uh, a specific version of the game. Uh, and only on the Windows version. Because I think they did, like, there were six separate uh, releases of this game on, on Windows. Because they, they had difficulty working out a lot of bugs and things like that, so... The bugs were still in the game uh, at that time. The twins were the sole survivors of the first child. The hero of the third child captured them and thus obtained the wisdom of the first child. So oddly enough, this before you release the the poisonous fog in the in the twin labyrinths, there's a weird mechanic here where it's taking me back and forth uh, from the right to left side of the ruin without me having the twin statue. Kind of interesting. All right. Uh, so instead of him having a phony uh, hand reader in this game, he you just have to buy four to five. I think it might be five items from this guy to unlock the older brother sound uh, shop. So here we go. We're gonna buy the helmet first. We definitely need that. I think if I buy four weights. Will that do it? Yeah, there we go, okay. Dear valued customer, thank you for your continuing patronage of Little Brother's shop. As a sign of my gratitude, allow me to introduce a special shop to you. My big brother has a shop here, in the Twin Labyrinths as well. He sells many rare, one-of-a-kind items. Alright, now that's unlocked, we can come back. I think it's a hundred to buy the, the, the skull from the big brother shop. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh... Alright, see, now we're on the right-hand side of the, uh, twin lab. We don't want to be here. Uh... Yeah, in the first age of the sun, we were destroyed by flood. In the second age of the sun, the fourth child was destroyed by the god of the wind. In the third age of the sun, the fifth child was destroyed by the god of fire. In the fourth age of the sun, the sixth child was destroyed by rain of blood and fire. The seventh child disappeared from their era of their own accord and arrived at the fifth age of the sun. You are the eighth child and shall be destroyed in 2015. Alright, so here's the big brother shop. And like I said, yeah, I need a hundred for the dragon skull. But we won't need that the dragon skull until much, much later anyway, so eh, we'll worry about that later. Still on the right hand side. We want to be on the left. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a hundred now. I guess I can buy the dragon skull. Nah, I'll hold on to the money. I probably need it shortly for uh, other software. All right, we're ready to go into the spring of the sky. The funny thing is they actually changed the bass line to the music in Spring of the Sky because uh, the music for Spring of the Sky in the original version of La Mulana was uh, stolen from a game called Ashquin. So the music's slightly different here. That water may look pure, but it's poisonous. It's me! Apparently the water inside the ruins is slightly poisonous, so if you're in the water, your health will drain. However, there are places that purposely have water, so you can't pass it. You don't have enough health. So if you think you can do it, it could be possible to swim across. Just be careful you don't get yourself killed. Open the floodgate and the water will once again flow. Open the flo floodgate of Oanis. I'd be washed away by that waterfall. If only I had a helmet, I could probably get by. Well, I've got a helmet. And there's a new item here. That's the Caltrops. You can lay Caltrops behind you, uh, and enemies take damage from touching them. More importantly, they stun you momentarily and give you a limited eye, uh, slightly limited eye frames. So you can use that to get past certain traps. It's rather interesting. All right, I want to create a warp point here. Priest Oanis takes the form of a fish. This land flourished under him, as only he may choose the floodgate. A ringed cross, similar to those that exist in regions of Celtic civilizations. Alright, here's our map for Spring of the Sky. Alright, we want to get out of here fast, because the water's poison. You will find tired body. The fairy will gently heal thou. The fairy will help thy fight, and the fairy will provide treasure. The fairy will reveal secrets. Alright, just gonna wait here for the elevator. Got a nice little uh, Mesopotamian style sphinx there. Alright, gotta be careful here. Alright, we made it in. Boss against the Cyclops. Cannot actually hit him with the knife. So I gotta use the whip. Collect the four sigils and the path will expand further still. When the waters of the oceans calmed, a new child was born. In pursuit of the sun and the moon, man and woman, life and death, a small, wingless, gillless child was born. Alright, we got the origin seal, or the conception seal. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Do not want to fall there. I want to get the... I want to get up there and get the, the uh, scale sphere. Try that again.
Ah! Okay, I keep missing my jump. Oh, that's not good. Okay, you do not want to drown. Come on. Okay. I'm trying to be a little more patient this time. That was probably what screwed me up before. Gotta keep my eye on those fish. And the bats. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we got the scale skin. Now we can switch. Zoanis, a deity in the Babylonian mythology, half man, half fish, who taught the Sumerians wisdom. Alright. So we pull that switch down, set a weight on the pedestal, and that gets the water working. The symbol of the key! Hey, it's me! There are items that look like rocks with the La Mulana script on them. They can be used like keys in here in the ruins. If you touch a keyhole, or rather serve a small random mu mural with the same symbol, it'll break. With that, you might be able to solve some puzzles. Alright. Now we get the war half flooded. Now we can grab the glove as well. Am I doing an okay job here of explaining what I'm doing? Anybody uh, confused? This little walkthrough. Sail away, there thou wilt find where Bahamut slumbers. The Fishmaster holds the red light. We can just break that open with our whip now, we don't need to use the bombs. There's a hidden stair- uh, hidden ladder here. Take the mirror in thy hat! It will reveal the truth of the ruins. There is a hidden side to every room, and the two sides will become one. Enter the darkness, descend, proceed forward, ascend, and jump up and strike. Alright, so I can't go this way. I have to go around. Mother's wrath sank the earth. The people press preserve, ah, persevered at the bottom of the sea under until her anger has subsided. They persevered until a child with the strength to rise to the surface was born. Alright, we gotta kill this guy. Poor fishy fishy. 
He just wanted to be our friend. This water moves the tower. Transform to power and flows from here. Above the sun is the spring of the sky. Alright. That'll unlock the Ankh, uh, and we've got the Ankh tool now, too. We do not want to fight Bahamut yet. Bahamut is still kind of on the difficult side. Those seeking Eden, open the four boxes, seek the four pedestals, stand before a face of the highest rank, and in a place bathed in moonlight. Uh, so that refers to a new item, uh, but they haven't changed a whole lot of stuff. All right, so here's Anunnaki. Uh, so we want to break the uh, weight there, holding up the, uh, the lock. And now we've flooded the right-hand section of the Temple of the Sun. Resembles the mural of the god Anunnaki in Sumerian myth mythology. There are theories that they are actually aliens from the planet Nibiru. The goddess Isis is the Temple of the Sun. She gave birth to Horus and is a figure of motherhood. Because of this fact, she waits silently, perched higher than any other god. I was told to choose between three women. They are waiting at the promised location. I couldn't do it. They yet still wait within the moon-gazing pit. To the one who reads this now, please pierce her heart in my stead. She who never lets her smile fade. All right. So, we have, for that one, you have to go to the Temple of Moonlight and throw a shuriken at the face that's smiling. Alright, Statue of Set. A statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Set. God of benevolence and god of destruction. Statue of Nephi uh, Nephthys. A statue that resembles the ancient Egyptian deity Nephthys. Goddess of the night. Before we take the right-hand side of the Temple of the Sun, we actually want to have um, flares, so we can see in the Chamber of Extinction. Oh, we've got this uh, sigil now, so we can wake up Mulbrook. So Mulbrook has been sleeping for 6,000 years. Guess what she wants to do immediately after you wake her up? Oh, hmm. <sighs> Mulbrook slept well. Oh, are you the one who woke me? I see. Then I'll lend you a hand. <sighs> Mulbrook would help you, but I'm still terribly sleepy. For now, here is some useful information. Wetjet is another name for the god Horus. Horus is the god that the fifth children worshipped. It's an eye that supposedly sees everything from on high. See? Mulbrook knows pretty much anything. <sighs> Sorry, sleeping. Gonna sleep for a while. See you later. So yeah, Mulbrook is a new character for the remake. But yeah, every time you talk to her, she's like, I want to go back to sleep. And it's like, Lady, you've been sleeping for 6,000 years. Mulbrook is still sleepy. So once in a while, you come back and she'll have a new hint for you. Let me see here. Let's head into the Inferno Cavern. We're going to pick up uh, flares. Oop, 
I missed my jump. All right, let's try that again. But yeah, uh, Mexitron, Mexitron streams, um, Stan, uh, you were mentioning that, that, that speed run. Yeah, they, they actually beat the game in a little under two hours. It uh, utilizes an exploit that comes from how falling was managed in, in the original version. Challenge the Inferno Cavern. The road ahead is long. Those who proceed to prepare to face death. Alright, so... Gotta get this guy out of the way. I can't remember where his name was. I want to use Shuriken, just because uh, getting too close to him, you get a kick in the head. Takes quite a few more hits than he did in the original version. There we go. Down he goes. Alright, so. I have to exit this room, I think, and then re-enter. And if we whip up here, a, a ladder is revealed. So this is new. Uh, we find Isis' room here. Isis, the mother of Horus, a flood of motherly love shall grant thee healing's powers. All right. Now we have Isis' pendant. A statue of Isis. A statue that resembles the Egyptian, ancient Egyptian deity Isis. Alright, so now we can warp back to the Fairy Queen. And show her the pendant. That is indeed Isis' pendant. My fellow fairies will help you now. As promised, we shall make it so the tiny lights are visible in specified areas of the ruins. Come into contact with those lights, and the fairies will appear. As I am the queen, I shall remain here. Return to me if you are faced with a task beyond my fairies' powers. Alright, let's see here. Um... Back to the Temple Sun. But yeah, the speedrunners, when they play this game, they're already in the final area by right now. <laughs> it's hot! It's me, I'm getting hot today! Speaking of hot, lava is pretty hot! Don't fall in, it'll be very bad! But if you prepare to face danger and soldier forward, something good might happen. You're still young, take on the challenge! Got a statue of Nuwa there. This is a new puzzle here they're mentioning here. Turn left and swing your weapon, turn right and swing your weapon. The souls of the children long departed shall be awakened. Uh, that solves a new puzzle that they placed in the uh, uh, dimensional corridor. There's also a new item you need to get into the uh, to kill the mini bosses in the dimensional corridor. You cannot kill them without it. All right, there's the uh, trap there, that uh, phony crystal ball. My laptop fried for the heat. Okay, the solution to this is still the same. We have to whip the snake heads here until they uh, start spitting fire. When the snakes are enraged, it shall open. Yeah, we just figured that out. Alright, got the map.
Stick to the walls. Once the flames die down, kick off the walls and proceed. Yeah, that's how you get the chain whip. Alright, let's see here. I need the seal of life for that. Two weapons are kept in this land. One lies beyond Pazuzu's guard. The other lies in the Surdab of Light, which extends from the pit of flames. There is more to this land than meets the eye. It is a pivotal location. Tread a different path and then return to this land again. Alright, secret passage here. You can only find... Realize that this is there if you have the map. Alright, we're gonna solve a block puzzle. That up. Let me try that again. this out. You notice the little portrait of Lameza on the right-hand side there? Uh, he'll actually be shown changing his equipment as the game goes on. So if you look there, he's wearing the helmet underneath his hat. Uh, he's got the boots on. Uh, he's got the Isis pendant around his neck there. Um, he's got a glove on his left hand. If I switch the weapon, the portrait changes which weapon he's holding. Kind of neat. Thought that was a nice touch. Okay. Let's see here. I appear to have accidentally pricked my finger and I am bleeding. I will have to do something about that sooner or later. Space Capstar 2. At the bottom of this land lies the darkness that leads to death. Meaning V. Damn it! So this is it! I'm not handing this software over to anybody! 
Nobody will know I've hit it in a place like this. <laughs> and there it is. Now we can save more messages. There's a stat another statue of Miwa. Ajanta Cave statue. Resembles the stupa of India's Ajanta Caves. The centerpiece seems to be a statue of a goddess with a snake's body. Behold the Inferno Cavern. It was once the source of strength. Those seeking Eden, open the four boxes, seek the four pedestals, find the source of a phenomenal trap in a place bathed in love with good life. Alright. Gotta hop in here momentarily, place that, and we're good to go. Instead of getting the grappling claws here, we get the fairy cane. So now we can survive slightly longer while in lava. Unlike in the original Lava Lana, though, it does not make us invincible while in lava. So, yeah, slightly nerfed. All right, I'm gonna travel back to the surface real quick. Let's restore our health while we're here. Yeah, these hot springs are a nice little addition to the game that restores your health now. Not the double jump. Let's find out. I no longer need the uh, pistol to open that, by the way. Alright. Gotta do this carefully. Oh, he knocked me off. Alright. Well, that'll happen. Getting back up is always a pain. That's Nets as the birth seal. Very carefully to get that uh, 
health upgrade. Ah, he did it again. On RNG. Yes. All right. Let's go back to the temple. Sun. That was not what I meant to do. Let's try that again. Place with water. The mirror that uh, reveals the hidden side will come within thy reach. Alright. Now, we can't get in there yet, so we have to go into the dark area of the Temple of Extinction, Chamber of Extinction here. Let the light burn here. Okay. There it comes. Alright. Now we can get into the section with mirror. And we got the bronze mirror. Alright, so now we can get to the back side of, of the uh, ruin. Things I want to collect here in the Chamber of Extinction. Take the Dragon Bone in hand, it shall light the way to the center of this land. Yeah. Can't do that until I've woken up the philosophers, but uh, yeah. There's our map. That was a waste of too many flares, but whatever, it works. Large stone statue is Spriggan. Hostility awakens it, further attacks will still its rent. Okay. Here. Sentiment. This thing is always a pain in the ass. Gotcha. All right, and that unlocks uh, the Chakra, which is a new weapon for the uh, remake. Very powerful, but you only get, uh, I think, eight max of them. But you can use it over and over again. The Cog of the Soul gives life. We sprung forth from it, prospered, perished, and departed from the world. 
As long as you pick up the Chakram after you throw it, yeah, you can keep, uh, keep getting it. There's a light here, right? Ah! Sunray! There we go. No Siggy Eden, open the four boxes. Seek the four peasants beneath the dancing man's feet in a place bathed in moonlight. We knew that already. A guardian lurks at the front. If the guardian isn't there, then it will be in the back. That's how these ruins work. The endless corridor is the only exception to the rule. Hold the Chamber of Extinction. Here lies the remnants of a disastrous battle. Okay. We don't need the axe here to unlock this, so we can actually do this early. We can just rip through here now. No axe required. Lights back on. I'd like to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right. Ah, oh, shoot! I missed the elevator. All right, that's fine. Ah, missed my jump. Okay, let's try that again. Ah. How did I do that twice in a row? Alright, we got the lights. Alright, so we now have three of the four seals. Not bad. Try to get one more of the orbs here so we can get some more health. Die here. That's is another sacred orb. Alright, so breaking that seal opens up the top portion here. Uh, we use 
flares to light the candles. And that gets us the crucifix, which makes it so that the souls can't touch us anymore. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna buy a ton of shuriken here. We're gonna need them. fight with Socket. What do you think of his makeover? Face mask fall, fell off. So now he changes his strategy. He actually starts shooting his fist at him. So at this point, it becomes a little easier to tag him with the shuriken. With the face mask not protecting him, you can actually hurt him with the shuriken, unlike in the original game where the shuriken just didn't hurt him at all. Okay, he's down. Okay, that's the second Guardian down. Congratulations, you have obliterated a socket. But the adventure continues. Have I made the socket to me joke yet? It's dark! It's narrow! It's me! I believe there should be a dark room with no lights somewhere in the ruins. There should be places where you can light something. Maybe if you had a weapon on hand that you could light fires with? I have something to tell you! Come back right away! This time! Immediately! For reals! There you are! Got something I wanted to tell you! This year's story has been passed down in the village. Those that set them complex traps in the ruins are waiting for the strong one. I don't know who's waiting, it's just an old legend, but I find it hard to believe that anyone could live in the ruins. But legend has it, someone sleeps within the ruins, waiting to help this strong one. Thought it might be good to keep you an eye out for that sort of thing. Since it seems your research is coming off, of course I have no idea where this someone is supposed to be sleeping. Alright.
Next step, we're gonna take on Elmac. Mirror, mirror, it's me, yo! When you find a treasure called the Bronze Mirror, all the large entry-like passages that have been sealed before will be open. These are called gates. You can go in by pressing up. Once inside, you can access a different version of the world, so to speak. That's right, there's an alternate side to the ruins. And it's very vast. Too bad, more work for you. They made Elmac a lot harder in this version. All of my shuriken. That's got him. If he rams into you, it, it takes up like a quarter of your health, even at the point I'm at. Congratulations, you obliterated Elmac. But the adventure continues! Alright, we're in the Twin Labyrinths. We gotta get the heck out, because this is the section that's poisonous. All right, let's see here. I want to go to the graveyard of the Frost Giants. Real quick. Red Ruby means passion. The sapphire signifies affection. These meanings are infused through the gemstones. Alright, we want to save that information in our text memory. Because that's going to be important for uh, doing the uh, gems and scales room. The illusion has no end. The key to eternity rests within. A demon with a weapon brings forth the illusion. A demon that endlessly consumes life. Not slick and shiny, me. I'm not bald. Ice is slippery. It can't be helped. Good luck. I feel like they made Elder Zelput even crazier in this game. All right, we want to do this in the right order. So we take the right one first, and then we, uh, get the one on top. I do not actually need the katana to get the, uh, um, Tojin emits countless beams of light. Those without a white shimmer will not survive. I 
I can use the knife to hit beneath me now instead of the uh, katana in this version. So I do not need the katana to get the shield. Meeting the man and woman inside a man, the seed of life is born. Yeah, we need that one. Money can't buy the real thing. Referring to the shield. So this is interesting. If you whip this block here, it falls down into the uh, thermal vent there and creates a hot spring that you can use to heal yourself. New addition for this version of the game. All items are genuine. Grab them while you can. Yeah, they're not genuine. I could use the extra weights, though. What the heck? Alright, let's see. Hold the graveyard of the giants. It is the resting place for giants overcome by sorrow. All right, that'll create a shortcut. Oh, that's right, I need the double jump to get the rear eye. Okay, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we are headed for the uh, Temple of the Sun next. We're gonna take a quick cut to the Temple of the Moon, grab a few things there, and find uh, Michael Jackson. All right, we're at Temple of the Moon now. All right, I gotta do this just right. Okay, now don't place a weight here, but scan it instead. That's one of the locks for the, uh, uh, getting the serpent staff. Okay, let's see, we got an item fairy. Uh, I know where to take that. Nice little way to get monies here. You take this item fairy here back to the cham Chamber of Extinction. And keep 
breaking this uh, over and over and over again. And we can rack up quite a bit of money this way. Anytime you get an item fairy, this is what you want to do. Cash rolling in. Oh, she's leaving me. Alright, well, we maxed out there at how much did she give us like five hundred gold out of that out of that trip? So pretty good. Pretty good haul. I'm gonna get some more shuriken. more weights. So those of you who watched the original, how do you think this remake compares? There, there are certainly people who have mixed opinions about it. Like I said to Adam, I, I, I just, I really enjoy both of them. Alright, back to the Temple of the Moon. Yeah, I, I like them both too. Well, we're about to run into the bas relief of Michael Jackson. What's everybody's favorite Michael Jackson song? All right, so you see how we got three faces here. We want to aim for the one on top this time instead of the one in the middle. That's changed, but it is the one, only one that's smiling, so that's that's the trick. That is the Underworld Palace, where the god who governs death is about okay, let's see. Smooth Criminal? That's a good one. I like Billie Jean.
kind of funny. Did you hear the little uh, scream in the soundtrack there? That was supposed to be a nod to Thriller. Right? Those seeking Eden solved the four puzzles. All right, here's Michael Jackson. There, you can see him right there. It changes poses, too. Take a look, he's right there. I'm not sure how they got away with that one. <laughs> there he is again, moonwalking. Break this wall, and uh, uh, we still need bombs to unlock that door up there. But that's where the scripture is. Nice enough to make this room so that you do not need the grapple claw to get up here. <laughs> For this version. And I, I, in the original, you had to use the grapple claw. Anyway, that's unlocked the route to Anubis. Come down here, we try to attack Anubis, and it does no damage. What's up with that? Well, turns out we need the Book of the Dead. Well, I'll be! You found the sleeping one! The stories were true! What a surprise! And you say it's a young, living girl? Ha <laughs> ha! Lucky you! I feel ages younger already, but to think such a girl was found alive. Just maybe there's some truth to the legend about the four philosophers that are waiting for the strong one. Alright, so that's a little hint. We need to go back and see Mulbrook. Uh, Mulbrook finally started to wake up. Mulbrook is the daughter of an excellent tailor and one of the race of the four philosophers. Father worked for the philosophers, so naturally Mulbrook served them as well. Mulbrook was chosen to be your helper because of her excellence. So if you run into problems, see me. Mulbrook cannot move to preserve eternal life. An enemy that sucks life. Does it have a dog-like head? Ah, that's probably Anubis. Seems like he's God of the Dead. If you had what's known as the Book of the Dead, then it wouldn't be able to suck your life, but Mulbrook doesn't know where that is. Oh wait, what Mulbrook has in Mulbrook's hand right now is the Book of the Dead. So here, you can have it.
I feel covered in darkness, you say? Oh, that's right next door! Mobra thinks there's a way to make it bright, but it's difficult. First, you have to solve the riddle of the God of Light in the Chamber of Birth. Then there'll be a change in the Chamber, chamber of Extinction. It's still far ahead. Be patient, and don't be hasty. A quarter that never ends, you say? Well, that's the endless quarter. Of course it would never end. But if you had the key of eternity, then you could travel deep inside. But even deep inside, it's still endless. It's brilliant. And now she's snoring. Okay. <laughs> Mulbrook is sleeping right now. Don't wake me. Stop it. Mm, Mulbrook is sleepy. Just a hundred years. Let me sleep for a hundred more years. All right. She does not like being waked up. Look it up. You know what? Now we can hurt, uh, Anubis. Doesn't mean make him easy, but we can hurt him. Ow. Love the black backflip animation. Alright, that's got him. Now we have the Serpent Staff. Items are better used than not! It's neat! Some treasures ain't real helpful until you put them to use. If you select items through that item menu, you like to choose weapons. Go ahead and try it! Once you've set that up, press the item button to see what happens. There are even some treasures that aren't activated until you hold them in your hands. Try to have fun trying different items out! We got the uh, Serpent Staff activated now. Take out Argus. He's pretty much the same as he ever was. Now we got the feather, we can double jump! Ah, you took the treasure from our village's shrine, didn't you? Thief! Well, that was an offering by the villagers. Oh well, Feather has a strange power. Press the jump button while you're jumping. It'll let you jump twice. You'll be able to jump further and higher than before. And even if you fall from a high place, you might be able to get by with a mini jump. You're gonna have to pay for that thievery one day, though. Oh, another day at work finished, Adam? That's good. I'm about ready to take out Bahamut now. They actually made Bahamut slightly easier in this one. Oh wait, I want to get the axe first, though. So let's go back to the Temple of Sun real quick.
I don't know, I'm having taquitos. What about you? Show me anything rare and unfamiliar. If you find an item you're not quite sure about, bring it to me. I'll, if I know anything about it, I'll tell you. All right. You gotta scan that section there with the four arms outstretched. So this is a section of untranslatable Lamalani's. It actually gives you the solution uh, for the Room of Gems and Scales. Um, so in order to translate it, we have to find uh, three Rosetta Stones located throughout the game. Little added uh, bonus there. Bonus puzzle there. The legible writing can't be read, huh? Well, it's me. There's some writing the Glyph Rider can't translate. The normal ancient scripture was written by the four philosophers from the race of the seven children. The other writing, though, was written by folks from an even older time. It can't be translated. I'll look into other methods, so hold on! Alright, we want to scan this here. That's the last of the four things we have to scan. Alright, we got the grapple claw. We found a grapple claw! Uh, you remember, you, if I remember right, you got ninja blood in you, so I heard that, you're, that from your father. If you use the grapple claw, you can scale walls like a ninja. Just hold up towards the wall. You can fall by releasing up. You can also jump further by pressing the jump button while holding it up to the wall. My secret. Isn't it strange how I know how your adventures are going? <laughs> I can see through everything! Top the navel of Neptune. That's a little secret there about how to get into the uh, uh, dimensional core. Alright, so we walk through here, flip that, and run like heck. And we got the map. Alright, now that I've done all four of those, I can flip these in the order they were mentioned. So we do top right, I mean top left, top right, bottom right, and middle. And that unlocks Eden's fruit. Over here, we want to place this before stepping on there, otherwise the uh, platform breaks. That'll make a shortcut to the Twin Labyrinths. You can permanently screw that up. Alright, let me, uh... Before I do this, let me save real quick. Like I said, I don't know what you should have, but I had taquitos.
light of the god of death delivers death to all living things. Only those who hold the book of the dead may escape this fate. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. So this takes us to the graveyard of the giants. items I want here before we take on Mop. I also want to get the axe in uh, the other location. Alright, we've got to break his eye. Again, I feel like Rocket Raccoon when I do that. Come on, I need your eye! No, really, I need it! Carefully, I do not want to land on the spikes. Gotta come in from the left hand side and place this. Unlock that. Ah, spikes. Alright. Alright, this. The future development company lets me work to the rear side. I'm forced, so I'm playing my favorite Nigoro games. Don't you got some Nigoro games on your laptop too? If you have one, I don't have. Let me try it. All right, they changed how this puzzle works. Uh. Adam, I think I have to move streaming to just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, because I have, uh, uh, you know, I'm busy all day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That is the gauntlet. That'll make it so that weapons work much faster. Alright, so if I now put on... Uh, let's see, I have to remove something. Um, Mirai here. I can warp to the rear side. Now we whip much faster. Let's try and get that axe. This works exactly the same as it did the first one. We just have to come up here, break the skull to get the rock rolling. Hang on for dear life here so we don't get crushed. Take the axe. Alright, I'm gonna refill my health and not that is we're ready to take on the hopper.
Alright, we should be able to slice and dice him now. Bahamut, by the way, is one of the biggest spectacles in this game. So it's gonna be fun to fun to watch here. It's a good this is a good way to finish up tonight. Okay, did not want to take that hit. Ah, oh, I gotta wait for the elevator again. Okay. All right, let's do this thing. All right, so the raft actually follows us around this time. We can slightly manipulate its direction. I just love the scrolling here. Everything about this fight is beautiful. Sadly, I can no longer hit him while he's uh, in the water, spitting out the mines, but... There we go, he's already dead. Yeah, the ice between the axe and the, uh, uh, the flares actually absolutely shred him in this version of the game. They, they made him so much easier. A new laptop's come out! Two new models of the laptop you're using arrived at the village. There's only one left in the inventory at the store. I already bought the other one, so if you don't hurry, I'll buy the other one too as a backup. Bought the Mobile Super X2. That'll give us more memory so we can use more applications. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the gun, too. It actually starts us with six rounds, too, which is nice. Alright, I'm saving. I'm gonna quit for the night. I will probably come back on Friday, alright? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody then.